The Shapes of Midnight by Joseph Payne Brennan is a collection of short stories that explores the macabre and unsettling aspects of human experience. Brennan, known for his mastery of the horror genre, crafts tales that delve into the psychological depths of fear, the unknown, and the supernatural. Each story in this collection presents a different facet of horror, yet they are unified by Brennan's skillful use of atmosphere, pacing, and a keen understanding of the human psyche. The stories in this collection often blur the line between reality and the supernatural, creating a sense of unease that lingers long after the tale has ended. Brennan's writing is characterized by a slow build-up of tension, where ordinary settings and situations gradually reveal their hidden, terrifying aspects. This approach allows him to explore the concept of fear as an inherent part of the human condition, one that can be triggered by the most mundane of circumstances. One of the key themes in the collection is the idea of the unknown, which manifests in various forms, from mysterious creatures to unexplained phenomena. Brennan often leaves much to the imagination, allowing the reader's mind to fill in the gaps, thereby intensifying the horror. This technique not only heightens the suspense but also engages the reader on a deeper psychological level, as the fear of the unknown is a universal experience. The characters in The Shapes of Midnight are often ordinary individuals who find themselves confronted with extraordinary and terrifying circumstances. Brennan's protagonists are relatable, their reactions grounded in the everyday, which makes their encounters with the supernatural all the more unsettling. Through these characters, Brennan explores the vulnerability of the human mind when faced with the inexplicable, as well as the often irrational responses that fear can provoke. Brennan's use of setting is another crucial element in his storytelling. The environments in which his stories take place are typically familiar, small towns, isolated houses, and urban landscapes, yet he infuses these settings with a sense of dread. The juxtaposition of the familiar with the horrific serves to destabilize the reader's sense of safety and normalcy, reinforcing the idea that terror can lurk in the most unexpected places. In addition to the psychological horror that permeates the collection, Brennan also incorporates elements of traditional Gothic fiction. The stories often feature decaying buildings, mysterious figures, and dark, oppressive atmospheres that evoke a sense of impending doom. These Gothic elements, combined with Brennan's modern sensibilities, create a unique blend of horror that feels both timeless and contemporary. The Shapes of Midnight also reflects Brennan's interest in the supernatural and the occult. Several stories explore themes related to ghosts, curses, and otherworldly forces, suggesting that there are forces beyond human understanding that can influence the physical world. Brennan treats these themes with a sense of reverence and seriousness, avoiding the sensationalism that often accompanies supernatural fiction. Instead, he presents these elements as natural extensions of the world he has created, adding to the overall sense of unease. Brennan's prose is another notable aspect of the collection. His writing is concise and unembellished, yet he is able to convey a great deal of emotion and atmosphere with few words. This economy of language allows the stories to maintain a brisk pace while still building a rich, immersive world. Brennan's ability to evoke fear through suggestion rather than explicit description is a testament to his skill as a writer. In conclusion, The Shapes of Midnight is a masterful exploration of horror that delves into the deepest fears of the human mind. Through his use of atmosphere, character, and setting, Brennan creates a collection of stories that are as psychologically complex as they are terrifying. The themes of the unknown, the supernatural, and the fragility of the human psyche are expertly woven throughout the collection, making it a compelling read for anyone interested in the darker aspects of fiction.